Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. We're going to be looking a little bit at, by various names, the Pachetta. I used to get, when I sold Bibles, people asked for the Lamsa Bible, George M. Lamsa. But it's basically the Bible in Aramaic, Syriac. Um, this one was put out by Harper and Row. So what we're looking at, this is probably the most famous edition of the Lamsa Bible. So this isn't necessarily so much on the translation. I'll probably, Lord willing, do some translation comparison in the near future. But this is more of a Bible review um, of this particular Bible itself. And so it doesn't have any yap, doesn't have any overhang, which is good in a paperback because that means it will sit on your shelf and really good. Now, what happens to paperbacks because they're glued bindings and this is a glued binding is pages begin to fall out. So you never want the spine to break. So it may be even good to kind of break in the spine a little bit, not like you would on a leather uh, Bible that you would. So the Peshetta um, is considered to be one of the oldest, if not the oldest extant translation. Some people say it came, comes from the 420s AD. Some people from 150 AD or even before. And so it's got its own little, what can I say, uh, fan following. It's kind of like the Newberry Bible or the Companion Bible by Bullinger that it's got it's just its own fan base so to speak. And I hate to say fan, you know, short for fanatic but um, this. And I'm just showing you like the print size. We'll do the measuring. We'll try to see what size print it is. See how big this thing is. I'm going to read you something off the back of this. Dr. Daniel Poling. This is the Bible translation from the language Jesus spoke. Yeah, there's some debate about that. Um, so, and do not let us enter into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Again, Matthew 19, 24, which King James translates, and again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Lampsa corrects, again I say to you, it is easier for a rope to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. So you can kind of see, you know, it's a rope instead of camel there. Um, Matthew 6.13, King James, lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil, is rendered in the Lamsa translation. Do not let us enter into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So um, it's not going to be like red letter or anything like that. The pages, they're not pure uh, like paperback pages. A little better than that but not quite Bible paper either. But now it's got some great margins for writing in. So a lot of people use this like, okay, they'll read the King James and then they'll say, well, the Lamsa Bible says this or the Peshetta says this. And there's other versions of the Peshetta as well. Okay, so it looks like it is six tenths of an inch margin on the side just about the same at the top no margin in the gutter let's see at the bottom it looks like it's 0.625 let's see the print size in this and let's see if it comes with anything else like concordance in the back and all that so now, if I had to guess, I'd say it's nine and a half point print. Whoever did the lining and the spacing did it phenomenally. It's excellent readability. It has almost no ghosting, which is bleed through. Uh, the lining looks almost perfect. So somebody set this up absolutely excellent. So again, you know, reference Bible. Now I'm assuming 
the Lamsa Bible is going to come with the full compartment of hardback and leathers for people that want to use this as their primary Bible translation. But it's just so iconic. I don't know how many years this particular blue backed edition has been in print. I'm fixing to see, as a matter of fact, if it's got any of that information, huge introduction, the Aramaic Peshitta text. Um, Jesus and his disciples spoke the Galilean dialect of Aramaic, the language which the early Galileans had brought from the other side of the river Euphrates. Say in Kings 17, 22-25, Mark tells us in his Gospel 14, 70, that Peter was exposed by his Galilean Aramaic speech, words resembling one another. One's a Peshitta text, King James Version. Uh, English names are Aramaic equivalent, like God is Allah, Lord is Mariah, like Mariah Carey. That's weird. Jesus is Eshu, Messiah is Mashika. Now, our friend Andrew Urshan, he always kind of preferred the Aramaic uh, way of doing things, the Assyrian church, the Assyrian Orthodox church. But I'm going to tell you something strange, and I know I'm doing this very fast, and I should have looked before I did the video, but I did not see like a, uh, like a copyright page. Like it just dives right in, which is, I mean, I always thought you had to, but it doesn't have introductions, doesn't have references. Let's see if it's got anything at all in the back. I don't think it does. Well, it may. It may have one map in the back of Jerusalem. One map. So it really doesn't have pages to write in too much. It does have one page at the front to write in. You can write on these covers, of, like if you're writing notes or something like that. It's kind of a big Bible, but it's very well done. It's uh, 9.25 inches by 6.1 inches by 1.9 inches. I'll let you see it. The Cambridge large print I use, text only edition, kind of get maybe a feel for the size. It'd be a little big to carry to church, but really only in thickness because, and it's a little taller than the Cambridge large print. I'll let you see if you can see the thickness better. So the Pachetta, um, again, Lord willing, I will do, I may have already done, um, something's telling me two or three years ago, I did like a brief deal on the Pachetta, but we'll probably, Lord willing, in the near future, do something a little more extensive on what is the Pachetta translation, do some comparison with various translations, go into the translation philosophy, see what we can learn about that. So the Pachetta, the Holy Bible from the ancient Eastern text, George M. Lotz's translation of the Aramaic of the Pachetta, and I do, I ran across an Amazon, if I remember the other day, there's another translation translation or two that are not Lamsas from the same text, if my memory serves me correctly. God bless you. I'll talk with you later in Jesus' name.